You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Hello guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Liv my name is Liv if you're new here and this is Arlo. He is 13 months old and he's very cheeky. He's a lot of work but he is literally the cutest kid ever. Right. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? 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 This is what he does. He wants me to walk with him now. <laughs> Where are you going? You can't touch that Arlo, no. We're not touching the camera. Oh dear, now we're having a tantrum. Okay, let's have a look in here. Right, what's this? Oh, dinosaur. Can you do that? So welcome back to my channel. And welcome if you're new here. Oh dear. So on my channel I post about motherhood, kids interiors and I give you some reality of what it's actually like in my life. Um, so I'm a working mum, I work part time, I've also recently set up my own business, um, if you haven't seen already Arlo and the Giraffe which is a kids interior design ah. business um, and got YouTube, Instagram, ah. Ah. dinosaur. <laughs> and just motherhood things going on you know that takes up so much time um so yeah things are busy at the moment um but this morning i thought what i would do is like a little morning vlog for you just because i haven't i felt like i couldn't catch up with you guys in ages and so many things have changed so i thought i'd just pop the camera on show you what our morning's like um so oh dear I'm gonna empty that um yeah, so I think today we're just going to have a bit of a chilled one. We're going to play indoors, play with some of Arlo's toys. And then we are going to go out to um, like a splash park that's near us. So I'm going to put Arlo in his swimmies and we're just going to have a little splash around. So so that will be really fun. What are you doing? <gasps> you got your dinosaurs. Uh-oh. So recently we've just had COVID. We are all clear today to go out. Um, you okay? But yeah, Arlo's still got a bit of a cough. Ah! What are you doing? Let me wipe your nose. Yeah. So at the minute he's like obviously wanting to walk all the time, but he can't do it. So it's me literally helping him to walk everywhere was, is literally my life. Um, and he brings me, it's really interesting because he like, he brings my hands and he'll bring me in the kitchen, then he'll bring me out to the living room, then he'll bring me outside if the door's open, he'll walk all the way down to the bunnies and go and say hello to the bunnies. Um, and then what he'll do is he'll like grab my hands and want to go upstairs, so we'll go up the stairs, walk around upstairs and then he'll want to come downstairs and it's like, it is non-stop. Oh, sorry. You can't touch the camera, Arlo. You can't do it. You can't touch it. Right, okay, baby. And the next few minutes of my morning consisted of 
Arlo throwing a tantrum because I wouldn't let him touch the camera lens. Um, his tantrums are definitely getting worse and I know they're probably going to get even worse. But yes, bless him, he just knows what he wants and what he doesn't want. So yeah. Should we get your little bunny? Shall we? Let's get your little bunny. Oh, cuddles. Cuddles. Oh, lovely. Oh. Yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> oh. Right, let's get your brickie on then. So, um, yeah, it's currently Friday um, and I've just worked literally like um tuesday wednesday and like half a day thursday so it's been busy today's like my day with arlo so i always look forward to fridays with him um yeah because i hardly see him anymore normally he goes to nursery on wednesdays but because he had covid this week he went over to his nannies things have been so busy um just gonna put the kettle on while I'm chatting to you. Um, yeah, things have been so busy recently um, and I'm not gonna lie, I have been really struggling to like juggle everything, oh, juggle everything that's been going on. Um, yeah, so something that I bought that um, I got in on Amazon like in the prime sale is this so um, it's like obviously a planner and um, and what I've done is we've got these different colour pens that come with it as well so I've been putting like Arlo in blue, Mikey in green, me in purple and then I've used this space as like my content planner um, and I find that that's like one of the things that's really helped me like to try and get on top of things um so i just needed that like sort of level of organization in my life so i'm really happy with that and it's just magnetic so it's gone on the boiler in the cupboard and then i can just shut the cupboard door like that um something else i got in the amazon deals were this flash mop um so I've been dying for a flash mop that sprays for ages. Didn't want to pay like loads of money for it. So um, I got this on in the sale, on uh, the Amazon Prime sale, and I'm really excited to try it out. Um, we've got a lot of like wooden floor and we've got um, bathroom floor upstairs. And I always struggle to like make sure that everything's clean because at the minute Arlo's just like rolling everywhere and like face planting. So. I thought if I get that then it's going to be easy for me just to have like a quick whiz round every evening. Let me know if you've tried this one before and if it's any good, um, please tell me it is because <laughs> I've just bought it. But yeah, what are you doing? You getting down? Oh good boy, you're such a good boy you are, yeah. So 13 months has been the hardest month. So far, um, I think it's like the levels of frustration that are making it difficult because he's just so frustrated and just wants to do things but he can't do it. So like the walking, he wants to talk as well. He makes so many sounds and he's trying to communicate but he just can't say anything. So yeah, that's another, another frustration. Um, but yeah, bless him. Hopefully he'll get there soon. But, yeah, last night he, well, normally in the night he wakes up, but the last two nights he has actually slept through, which has been great. So we woke up at half seven, I think it's like eight o'clock or something now, half eight. So, what are you doing, playing? So I've given him his milk already in like his little Tommy Tippy free flow cup, um, that doesn't have the nozzle on it. Um, and then now what I'm doing is I'm getting his breakfast. After cup after cup, yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life, real life. Yeah, we're loving the way they think we're so messed up. Uh -huh. Even if we're 
what we're doing is bad There's so many emotions Sharing stories that we never had yet None is real I think we're searching for reasons yeah, so I have recently set up my own kids' decor business. Well, yesterday. <coughs> Literally, I announced it. Um, and I'm so excited. So it's called Arlo and the Giraffe. Um, and it's like an online business. So I will be like doing online digital packages where I can do mood boards, shopping lists. Um, I can do floor plans and also have like exclusive brand discounts for any of my clients. So if you are interested, make sure you go and follow my new account, Arlo and the Giraffe, and pop me a message and I can like discuss everything with you and we can have a little call. And oh, your nose is running again. It's just non stop, isn't it, Arlo? And it's yeah, I'm really excited for it. Um, I'm only going to be taking on like limited numbers each month because um, obviously like I don't have a lot of time. So um, let me know if you want my service and I can slot you in. One of the rooms I'll be doing up first is a double bedroom at my mum's house for Arlo. So it'll be a new place where I can shoot some content and um, yeah, it'll be good because I can mix it up a little bit on my Instagram because I feel like it's really hard, like you guys see how small my house is, to be able to like get shots. Um, and really the only spaces are this space behind me, but I have to literally move this over to take pictures. And Arlo's room, which is tiny. Um, so yeah, it'll be good to have somewhere else to take different pictures and it's gonna be like a different theme as well. So it, um, yeah, it'll be lovely to mix things up. But let me know your ideas below. Some people have previously thought it was ocean themed because I really want to do an ocean theme room up, but it is not, so I will give you that hint. Um, so let me know below what your thoughts are um, to the theme. Um, yeah, I'll be announcing everything soon, to be honest. Um, I've just got some more bits to arrive. Um, I've actually painted the room. Um, I just got to paint a little bit more onto it. And then, yeah, we can style. Um, but it is like a toddler room for Arlo for when he gets older because at the minute he's in with my mum when he sleeps over there in the travel cot so um, bear in mind like this will be he'll have like a toddler bed in it but he's not sleeping in there yet um, it's going to be more of like a playroom at the moment also something really exciting that's going on at the moment that I actually cannot deal with so I'm having an article written about me in the sun um, which is insane like I'm so excited for it and it's going to be about how we renovated this house on a budget um so yeah it's going to have lots of different pictures going to have a little bit about me um and they're going to mention my business as well which is going to be like really good publicity for me because obviously like starting a business is hard and it's scary and i'm petrified of failure but um, you know what I think that like helps to try and motivate you to succeed so you need a little bit of being scared for a business to succeed yes yeah, so I'm so excited for that to come out and I will of course share with you guys when that's all out online this little chicken has just not been well he's just not been himself um, and to be honest I haven't really been focusing that much on his development recently because I just want to get him better um, the last chat we had was with the physio that said that she wasn't too concerned about him not walking. What the concern was about is him not being able to get from a laying down position to a sitting position. Um, so he can't like roll onto his side and like onto his front and then sit up. Um, so that's something I need to work on and she is going to send me some exercises to do with him as well. One of them involves laying him on his side and playing with toys to strengthen his muscles like for when he's laying on his side, apparently that really helps. So if you want to give that a go with your child if you're in the same position, um, you might find that useful. She also said to be like really careful of my back because I'm like walking around with him all the time. So. She said to put him on the walker because it's like the perfect height. Um, some of you may have already seen before, like I've shared this hack because walkers just go, they literally just go off and your child would just be 
like face planted the floor so um i came up with this idea um i think i saw it actually through researching and stacy solomon shared it like a few years ago when rex was little um so i put strings around the wheels i don't know if you can see that probably not sharing it properly yeah so i've just got some like basic string and i've tied it around the wheels a few times so it, they go a lot slower um and that's been working really well for us because Arlo can just go on that and then he he literally has to push it for it to move so um yeah that's been a really good hack so I haven't had to worry about him like just going off and falling over another thing we've been trying at the moment is this I got this off Facebook marketplace for four pounds it's also the VTEC so they're both VTEC um and this is the little star activity table so it's got um sounds and everything on it you can turn it on but i keep it off for my sanity at the moment um yeah it's got this little wheel a clutch um piano book lots of different bits i'll hold it up to show you um and yeah like i said it was four pounds off facebook marketplace just gave it a good clean um the legs do come off as well so if you want to like store it away it's quite straightforward to just yeah shut it down um and he's been like pulling himself up on that a little bit so especially on the wheel side he likes playing with the wheel and the clutch um so it's like the perfect height for them to pull themselves up with as well um, and i think that's what a lot of people were saying to me on instagram in terms of his standing have things that are actually accessible to him because um if something's too high then it's going to be like impossible for him to actually get up um, he has been also like pulling himself up on the sofa a bit as well um, and whenever he comes up to me he will use my legs to then and grab my hands to then stand up so it's all positive things um, and he will get there in the end coffee after an eventful morning having it in my Mrs Hinge mug which I absolutely love um, and then I've just put on Miss Rachel on YouTube if you haven't heard of Miss Rachel then you are absolutely missing out because she is so good honestly Arlo loves her and I feel like she teaches him so much she's actually a primary school teacher in America and she'll like do videos on teaching babies to talk um, so yeah definitely give that a watch on YouTube if you haven't already I'm just giving Arlo a breakfast bar as well because he still seems hungry and yeah just getting ready and chilling before an eventful day wow <laughs> what a morning he is just so frustrated and like ill as well because obviously covid and he's just really not himself so it's been quite painful so i've not been able to um film that much because um he's needed me which is fine um i've just put him down for a nap um and i'm gonna have some breakfast i'm so hungry so i'm gonna use this um it's from aldi it's the muesli fruit and nut and it's actually lush um so i'm gonna use that and also on it i'm going to use year valley greek style yogurt um i don't have any banana or any fruit otherwise i would just sort of like put some blueberries or banana or strawberries on it um yeah so what i need to do in the nap time is i need to come up with a price list to send out to some clients um i need to tidy up a little bit i need to actually have a break for myself i don't know how long i'm gonna have because it's so unpredictable with all those nap times it could be like 20 minutes so yeah i have to see i'm playing it by ear i need to also get things ready for going out so um i'm gonna get his like swim costume and stuff ready so we can go down to the splash park which will be really fun i'll show you guys around it's free as well so it's amazing um so if you live around me um so i live in bedfordshire message me and i'll let you know exactly where it is um yeah need to have a little bit of a tidy up as well um i'm just going to show you my plants quickly because i'm actually so pleased with how they've come along Ooh. 
I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Bottle, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep end so now I make myself some breakfast, I make myself some muesli that I've got from Aldi which is absolutely beautiful, let me tell you, it is stunning, it's got little bits of like fruit in it, um, apricots and stuff, and I also use the Yeo Valley honey yogurt which is my go-to, honestly this is like my breakfast that I have every morning, um, and then if I've got like fruit then I'll pop it on there too. I'm now just having a little browse through Instagram, catching up on some messages and also um, I'm emailing with a company for a potential Instagram collaboration so I'm just doing some like admin -y bits whilst he's asleep and yeah I'm excited to have a play outside soon and also go and explore the splash park. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold it's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I lost you Yeah, I lost you Telling you that I need you off my radar now I've lost you I've lost you So Arlo and I do these flashcards regularly I think we've had them since he was like two months old and I do them with him like pretty much every day that I'm with him um, they're from Ravenburger and they're called My First Flash Cards and I bought them through Amazon so if you type in that to Amazon you should be able to find them I just go through them with him and try and talk to sort of like associate sounds and stuff with the words um, he understands that when he sees the bus now he'll like do the wheels on the bus with dogs he'll like go woof woof well he'll try to do a woof um, and yeah I find that it's good to try and like encourage him to say words he's also like I don't know why but he's really good at <laughs> kicking the football um, obviously he can't walk so it's like me having to hold him but he loves it he absolutely loves just playing with the football um, so I was just doing that a little bit with him and now he's probably in another tantrum yeah he's seen the camera and he wants to touch it so that's the issue we're having with vlogging at the moment. Hi, so we are now going down to town. We're gonna to go to the Splash Park. We're gonna go for a look around, aren't we, Arlo? Get some food. Um, he is very just, I don't know what the word is. What's the word for you? Just, oh. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, <laughs> You're cheeky, that's the word I'm looking for. You know exactly what you're doing. You do. Right, should we go down to the splash park? Shall we? Uh, go yeah. to the splash park. You say yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, right. I'll catch you in a minute. Understand that we get one 
that turned into the most dramatic situation ever like we went there just to have like a nice relax and just go in the sprinklers and everything and yeah just chill out a little bit but it was just one thing after another so it like started out we were going um in to get like a takeaway drink and um, the person didn't put it on properly and I wanted to share it with Arlo so um, it was a chocolate milkshake so I was giving him a little bit of it and the lid wasn't on properly so as soon as he went to go and have a bit, a swig of it it just went all over him, all over the prowl, all over his clothes so I was like great, that's a great start <laughs> um, and I didn't bring a spare change of clothes because I didn't want to lug around his like massive changing bag so yeah then we went into the splash park area he absolutely hated it um <laughs> he was just screaming and yeah not enjoying it i don't know why because whenever he's been there before with other people he's really enjoyed it um sorry about that sound as well hello you having fun you having fun yeah are you having fun Oh, you're at your kitchen? Yeah, he's in a nappy by the way. So, because I didn't have a change of clothes. So next situation, yeah, he, was, he wasn't he was liking the splash park. And I thought, okay then, we'll take you out and we'll go and sit down on a little table and I'll give him an ice cream and dry him off and everything. Realised I'd forgot his towel. Yeah, so I had to strip him all down to his nappy and yeah, he wasn't liking it, it was cold. Um, and I was trying to hold him, who was sat on the table, hold this ice cream that I'd bought for him that he didn't want either. Um, and then the umbrella from the table started like coming out. Great, what am I gonna do? What, how am I gonna save this umbrella from going and hitting someone? So I had to try and hold it and hold Arlo and hold the ice cream and yeah, it was just a nightmare. And then I called this lady that was sat next to me to come and help me. So she, as she was coming over to help me with the umbrella, another umbrella from another table like came up from the table, flew in the air and hit her around the head. And um, luckily she wasn't hurt too much. It was just like, just tapped her really. But yeah, I was like, what is going on today? It's just one thing after another. And then I had to walk all the way through town and walk all the way back home with Arlo in a cardigan that I found at the bottom of his pram and a nappy. So yeah that's how our day's going um i'm literally exhausted <laughs> you exhaust me you do you do exhaust me he's just playing at his kitchen at the moment oh what are you playing with what are you playing with so after what feels like a very long day we are finally just settling down Arlo's had some dinner he had some Audi corn um, dinosaur nuggets and also some vegetables and potatoes we're now just having a little bit of a cuddle on the sofa he never lets me cuddle him anymore but since he's been ill he's been letting me have a few cuddles which has been so nice so we're watching in the night garden having a little bit of a cuddle just getting settled down and ready for bed but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead I've been running in circles, trying to catch my breath I've been trying everything I can but I ain't got I'm gonna leave the
this vlog here today um but yeah i hope you liked seeing a real day in the life um with a 13 month old because it is interesting it is very interesting um <laughs> but yeah make sure you go and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure you also go follow my instagram at home with live and go and follow my new business arlo and the giraffe i'd really appreciate it um but yeah i hope you have a lovely rest of your week and i will see you in the next one guys Nothing there